Pope apologizes to Roma for Catholic Church's discrimination. Pope Francis apologized to the Roma people on Sunday for the Roman Catholic Church's discrimination against them as he wrapped up a visit to Romania. Making up around 10% of Romania's 20 million people, many Roma are marginalized and live in poverty and have suffered centuries of discrimination and insults. I My Indifference Earlier, the pontiff beatified seven Greco-Catholic bishops jailed and tortured during the communist era. They These Regime officials detained the beatified bishops overnight on October 28, 1948, accusing them of high. The Greek Catholic Church was outlawed under 1948-89 communist rule. The bishops died of maltreatment, some still in jail, others in confinement in an orthodox monastery. They were then buried in the bars of the cells where they were held were symbolically incorporated into the throne built specially for the papal visit. The bishops followed the Eastern Rite Catholic Church which emerged from an orthodox schism at the end of the 17th century when the central region of Transylvania was part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. While retaining orthodox practices they recognized Roman Catholic papal authority unacceptable for the communist regime which took power following World War II. Under a 19, under such stark political repression, most Romanian Catholics who numbered more than 1.5 million in 1948, abandoned their faith and their community has shrunk to around 200,000 today in a country of 20 million, almost 9 in 10 of whom profess orthodoxy. The politics which has seeped through Romania's modern religious history has poisoned interfaith relations even if the papal visit has softened feelings to a degree. No. Roma, originating from northern India, suffered around five centuries of slavery before the practice was formally abolished in 1856. But they remain a mainly poor and marginalized community even if recent years have seen roads paved and homes getting running water and electricity. Francis' arrival in Blatch to wind up his visit was part of his attempt at inclusiveness on his three-day visit to one of what remains Europe's poorest states. Although Romania has developed a pace since obtaining EU membership in 2007 there remain some urban. Dominica and others in Blaj saw it as no coincidence that Francis, often seen as a defender of the rights of the most marginalized, chose the Barbulatera district of Blaj, whose inhabitants are mainly Roma, to launch his appeal for tolerance and social inclusion. They